let's play around with negative one negative one raised to the power of one is equals to negative one that is an established fact in the same vein negative one raised to the power of two over two is also equals to negative one let me explain this two over two equals to one so if i replace two over two with one i'm still gonna get negative one so negative one raised to the power of two over two is equals to negative one that being said now let's consider writing two over two this way two over two equals to two times one over two this is an established fact two times one over two you get back 2 over 2. So let's replace 2 over 2 with this. So we're going to have negative 1 raised to the power of 2 times 1 over 2. Okay? That being said, from the law of indices, we know A raised to the power of X raised to the power of y equals to a raised to the power of x times y. This also is an established fact, an established identity. So if we want to write this in this form, we're going to have negative 1 raised to the power of 2 raised to the power of half. Now let's proceed on the side of the board. Negative 1 raised to the power of 2 raised to the power of half. So let's concentrate on what we have inside here. That is negative 1 raised to the power of 2. And negative 1 raised to the power of 2 equals to 1. So if you replace 1 here, you're going to have 1 raised to the power of half and from law of indices also a raised to the power of half equals to square root of a so if you follow that principle here we're gonna have one raised to the power of half will be equals to the root of one and the root of one is equals to one so right now we have been able to prove that negative 1 is actually equals to 1. QED. So that being said, if you think that the approach is wrong, just leave a comment and I will respond to you. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to my channel for updates on more videos. Bye.